A world without flowering plants would be dull indeed. We would miss the reds, yellows, blues, oranges, violets, and all the other hues of flowers, and many fruits. In the autumn, we would miss the great displays of red, yellow, and orange as the leaves of many flowering trees turn color. But of still greater importance would be the lack of our major sources of food. All of our basic foods come from flowering plants. Wheat, corn, rice, sugar cane, all of our fruits and vegetables are flowering plants. The flowering plants, or angiosperms, are an important part of our environment, appealing to our senses in many ways. This is no accident of evolution, but an important facet of the life of angiosperms. For the flowering plants evolved not only to life on land, but also to life on land inhabited by animals. The colors and aromas of flowers, which so delight us, attract insects and other animals necessary for pollination. The colors and aromas of fruits entice us and a wide range of animals to eat them and spread the seed. The spines and hooks on seeds are caught in fur, and the animals provide transportation over many miles. Of the total of about 300,000 plant species, some 275,000 are angiosperms. This largest group of plants is divided into several hundred families. The individual species come in every conceivable size and shape. There are angiosperm trees that challenge the great conifers in size. There are tiny floating angiosperms that are little more than drifting leaves. There are great climbing vines that can kill the largest tree. There are beautiful and delicate plants that bloom in the spring.